The Southeastern Savage Storm are welcoming in their new head softball coach today with a meet and greet in downtown Durant. We're at the Lost Street Brewery right now and I get to visit with Coach Mackenzie Schur who is the fifth head coach in Southeastern softball program history. Coach, congratulations first Thanks on, so on this new job. I appreciate it. I'm excited. I'm excited to meet you today and, and just get to get to speak on Southeastern. So. Well, you've had a chance to be here for a little while. It's been about a month now yep. since you were introduced formally online as, as the, the new head coach of the softball program here. It really does have pretty much a storied history, but you've had a chance to see uh, the facilities at Southeastern and more of, of Durant, so welcome to this Oklahoma heat on top of that. Yeah. But tell us a little bit about your experience in Durant. Well, besides all the sweat, um, you know, it's it's been great. I've, I've enjoyed it. The people are awesome. You know, you talk about the history of the school and just – um, how people are connected to the community, how people are involved and want to be a part of everything here. And I think that's awesome. That's a cool environment to create. So I'm excited to kind of get to dive in more to that. It's crazy. It's already been a month, but I'm ready for the for long future ahead. You know, Southeastern in the GAC now and the, and the Great American Conference is, is a program and, and an institution in its second decade now. But one of the things about the GAC is how good the softball programs are here in this conference. And I know you come from a pretty good conference as well, formerly the coach at Union University. But talk about uh, coming into a strong conference like the GAC. Yeah, the GAC, I mean, we've in the in the past, I've you know, I've played those teams. Um, you know, you play them for rankings, you play them for regional, um, you play them for just the sheer competition of it and so I mean you know schools Henderson State, Southern Arkansas, Arkansas Tech, all of these schools and the list could go on um, you know that I've had previous contact with and you want to play them because they are good and so you want to challenge yourself so now I'm excited to get plugged in to where we're seeing them a lot more because um, I always like challenge with competition so. You're definitely going to get your share of seeing Henderson State and Arkansas Tech and Southern Arkansas, yeah. no doubt. A uh, big part of the, of the Southeastern schedule. We're here with Mackenzie Schur on Midwest Sportsnet. Thanks for watching today. We encourage you please like the video and subscribe as well. And we're also broadcasting to a Bryan County audience right now. So as we talk about Southeastern softball, ha have you had a chance to get to meet some of your players? Yes, I have been fortunate to meet most of them. Um, just the local ones or the ones that are here over the summer. And I've had um, the ability to talk with most of them on the phone, so or all of them on the phone. I'm excited. They seem like a really great group. They seem excited um, just about something new, change, but their hearts um, are what I'm most excited about. So I'm, I'm ready for them to get here. It was one thing getting hired, you said, a month ago, and then you have to wait yeah. and, and until school starts. And so I'm trying not to bite all my nails off waiting for them to get here with the anticipation, but I'm excited for when they do. So. Well, Coach, and step up here a little bit closer. I don't want you. I don't want to lose you on the camera. Uh, you you were a Division One softball player as well, in Southern Mississippi, and it really hasn't been that long ago since uh, you were playing catcher for Southern Miss yeah. for four years. Talk about being a D one softball player. Well, you say it wasn't that long ago. Sometimes I like to think it wasn't that long ago. So, um, well, we'll have to try to to be careful with that because I'll try to get out there, and my body does not appreciate that. <laughs> Um, no, I enjoyed my time at Southern Miss. I think it was a good experience. I think it was a good experience with learning um, leadership and going through some adversity. I had some coaching changes as well, so I know how that is on a player side and a coaching side. So, um, you know, using that and, and being able to apply that here is what I'm excited about. Um, catching was awesome. You, you see the field at a different angle than anybody else does, and so I think that that helps too. Not being biased, but I think, you know, catchers are special on the field. You can be biased. It's all right. This this is your interview. You you just shine and excel. That's fine. So we're here with the most special player on the uh, on the softball <laughs> roster. I guess maybe not. I, I could be reading a little bit too much into that. Okay. Well, uh, Southeastern again has seen very good softball over the years, and and uh, folks who are uh, in the area, I think they expect good softball. They they become used to that. Uh, you are just the fifth coach now in program history. When the folks come out and watch you all play here in the spring, and, and it will get here before you know it, I, I know Please. that, but when, when, when they do come out and watch you, what, are, what should they expect to see from your teams? I'm, I'm, you know, every team's different, and so getting to know our girls and, and see what their energy level is like, but I, but I think high energy. I think that that's what's going to be something that they're bought into each other. We're bought into each other, um, you know, as a program, as a team, wanting to make sure that we're focused on team instead of individual. Um, high energy. I'm, I'm always down for some speed and I'm always down for some power as everybody else. So, um, you know, as far as that goes, I think it might change, but, you know, uh, there's a book called um, Chop Wood, Carry Water. I don't know if you've heard of it, um, but it talks about greatness, how, you know, not one person is specifically to greatness. It's, it's for those that consistently and persistently choose it. Um, and so we're going to do that every day. We're going to choose to do that um, and be as consistent and persistent as we can. So I think they'll see that on the field as a result. All right. 
Well, I'm going to pass that along right now. I, and we, we like to close out some of our broadcasts with, with statements like that, so I, I, I will give that to you. Choose greatness. Mackenzie Schur, the new head coach at Southeastern, the softball program, and coach, again, congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you for taking some time with us today. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. We'll see you out there. All right, and we do want to see you out there as well. God bless you all. Thank you for watching this broadcast today. Have a great day.